Everybody knows that McDonald's meat is healthy. But today, we're gonna look into if it's even real meat and what the future of the iconic quarter pounder or hamburger, if you will, might look like. To start off, I think we'll agree that way back in the early days of the golden arches, McDonald's was probably selling quality, honest food. And then with the spread of preservatives, artificial food colorings, feeding antibiotics to the livestock, etc. It went downhill. Obviously, I don't remember how the burgers were actually made back in the 40s as I was still an infant, but most likely it was good beef from cows raised in relatively okay conditions. But over time, the food became almost cotton candy-like. I mean, nowadays, the bun sort of melts in your mouth along with the patty. And by the time you finish the burger, you feel like you haven't eaten than anything at all. That's exactly what happened to me a couple of weeks ago when I wanted to try a new summer promo. Because usually I don't eat this shit. And don't even get me started on the ingredients. I've worked in a couple of these franchises and can't recommend nothing. But apart from the fast food companies objectively sourcing the cheapest trash ingredients humanly possible, some people claim that, for example, McDonald's has been for years selling downright artificial lab-grown meat as some secret sinister plan to exploit their customers. Now, there are a few things that need to be addressed. First, it sounds like a proper conspiracy theory that something like this would be happening, so I find it hard to believe. I also think that these theories emerged because people naturally fear the terms artificial or lab-grown slash cell-cultured meat which is completely understandable, but there is a harsh distinction between them. Artificial meat in the contemporary sense encompasses all the meats and meat alternatives that don't directly stem from harvesting a slaughtered animal, whereas cell cultured meat means real meat but grown in a vat. And to make myself completely clear so that you know where I stand on this issue, I advocate for cell cultured meat, as is the real thing without all the other parts of the animal like bones. Plant based alternatives, on the other hand, is something that I don't find particularly appetizing. In fact, I couldn't be a vegan even if I wanted to, as I have a medical condition called meat loving osis that requires me to consume meat at least once per day. On top of that, the plant based stuff is actually full of harmful ingredients. So such as titanium dioxide, tertiary butyl hydroquinone, erythrosine, also known as RED3, hexen, caramel coloring, carrageenan, and refined canola oil. And maybe I've butchered some of those names. Of course, not all of these unhealthy chemicals are in every plant-based meat, but I would bet that if you study the label, you'll definitely find some. Also, the very name plant-based is misleading, as the plants, mostly soybeans, are often so highly processed that only a colorless protein powder remains, which is then mixed with preservatives, oils, natural or artificial coloring, gums, and seasoning. And that's really your product, so there is a plant base, but it could have also been plastered from your wall. <laughs> and based on this, I really don't see a reason why somebody would wanna eat it. By the way, this image, which may or may not be the thumbnail of this video, is how the impossible burger comes to life. Yummy, ain't it? And on top of that, there is unfortunately some truth to the conspiracy theories about artificial meat from earlier. You see, we have the infamous World Economic Forum with Klaus Schwab pushing eating insects and plant-based only diet, BlackRock founded by Larry Fink with 10 trillion dollars of assets under management and substantial positions in major food companies like Tyson Foods and Bill Gates with investments in all sorts of the artificial meat companies. Now, I don't really know why the elites want you to stop eating meat directly from the animal, but for some reason they do. And thus, there might very well come a day when you go to the McDonald's and instead of a hamburger, you'll get a cell-cultured hamburger. 
But that may not be all that tragic. If we assume that the cell cultured meat is really what the company is portrayed to be, that is a couple of cells taken from a real healthy animal with great genetics, they then place these cells into a bioreactor, add some amino acids, nutrients, etc. to create the right conditions and let them grow, the cell cultured meat would be one of the cleanest and healthiest products you can possibly get your hands on. It's real meat, but without no antibiotics to make the animal grow faster, no stress hormones from the slaughter, simply pure meat. And since it's portrayed as an eco-friendly variant, there has been quite a backlash when some studies showed that cell cultured meat allegedly has even greater GHG emissions than standard cattle farms. But if you look closer into it, the main factor really is where the electricity of the cellar farm comes from. If it's from the grid, then the emissions can be higher. But if it's from renewables, the GHG emissions from the production are 25 to 90 percent lower than those of conventional farming. So if a normally raised cow produces about 100 kg of CO2 per 1 kilo of meat, 1 kilogram of cell cultured meat should therefore emit only anywhere from 75 to 10 kg of CO2. And what's better is that cell cultured meat doesn't emit methane. So if you look at everything I've mentioned so far, and if all the facts I said are true, which I'm strongly convinced they are, but feel free to correct me, cell cultured meat is better than 99% of stuff money can buy. It's certainly better than the plant-based BS because it doesn't contain no funny ingredients. It's also better than the cheap meat from your local grocery store as it doesn't contain antibiotics or unnecessary hormones. And it's on par with premium meat since it's clean and emits way less GHGs. So only one question remains. Why don't people wanna eat it? Thanks for watching.